as soon as that email dropped in my inbox and I read it, I was like, oh. So after earning over $60,000 on Amazon, I got my KDP account suspended. And I say I got it suspended because I want to make sure that in this video I am taking full responsibility for my actions as well as this video is to encourage you and not to discourage you. And so the very first thing whenever you're trying to encourage someone is always making sure to take responsibility for your actions. So earlier this year, you may have seen my other video. If you haven't seen it, please click right here and check that video out. But essentially I was showing you guys how much I made on Amazon KDP in January of 2023. And so from that video, you can see that in one month, I made over 60000 on Amazon. And y'all, this was not an easy journey following that first month. So if you have published on Amazon KDP before, or you may not have, but this is something that a lot of people may not know, is that Amazon KDP actually takes about 60 days from the end of the month that you earn your income to send you that actual money, which means that there's a two month wait period before you can see a dime of what you've earned. And so having been on YouTube for a bit, seeing experiences of people who have gotten their KDP account terminated and lost all of their money, you can imagine that this time was, was shaky, right? But as you guys know, my faith is strong and I put my faith in the Lord and you guys, he delivered me and I'm here today to share more of my testimony with you. So this is going to start a few months back. This story is actually going to start in February. Um, actually, I think it starts before February because this story actually starts in 2021 when I was first publishing my journals. And so that's what we're going to hop into in this video. I know this intro was kind of long, but as always, I want to make sure to start off on a good note and let you guys know, um, just my heart in all of this. And so we're going to hop right in. As I said earlier, this story starts in 2021. So in 2021, when I started publishing journals on Amazon, I was not giving much thought to certain um, requirements or certain rules of publishing on Amazon KDP. I was new. I was just jumping in head first. Um, and I was also grieving at the time. I didn't share this in my last video, but during that time I was, I lost my grandma. Um, and so I was grieving at the time. And one of the ways that I grieve is to bury myself in work. And so I was burying myself in work. I was teaching at the time. I would get home from my teaching job, sit down on my computer, just publish journals all night or start creating these sticky notes that are on the wall. And I was packing orders and it was, it was a lot going on in that time of my life. And that's kind of how I grieve. I grieve by working a lot. Um, and you can see this by the fact that after, you know, a few months of grieving, I completely stopped publishing books on Amazon. I remember in a, in a previous video, I told you guys that, um, in 2022, I had probably published like one journal, right? <laughs> so that's just how I was grieving. That's kind of what I was doing, burying myself in this thing. And so when I published this journal, which is the, the journal that made me, um, that the money that I made in the video that I shared, um, it says my thoughts on how to be better each and every day. And so at this time of my life, I was heavy in self care, heavy in self help. I was reading a lot of self help books because I mean, that's, it's grieving, right? You're grieving, you're going through things, you're trying to find different ways and different avenues to, to get yourself out of that hole that you feel like you're in. And so that's kind of why I was publishing this journal. Um, and that's kind of why I was reading all of those self help books. And so when I published this journal, you guys, I didn't have the thought that it wouldn't classify as self-help. And so I published this book on Amazon under the category of self-help. And if you had seen when my when this book had first started doing well, this book was competing against books like Atomic Habits. It was competing against um, books like um, Prince, what's his name? The Prince in, that wrote a book. 
<laughs> it was competing competing against his book. So that's the category that this book was originally in. It was under self-help and I think it was also under personal transformation. But the problem is, and I use this one a lot, so it has a lot in there, but this one is a blank journal, right? So these are all things that I filled in. Um, but if you look at the back, you can see that it's just a blank journal. So I'm going to show you guys the first email that I received from Amazon KDP. So this is the first email that I received from Amazon KDP. It said, and I got this on February 4th, right? So remember the month that your book is selling, the month that my book was selling was January, right? So the end of January was when they were start that w the money would be moving into the process of getting reviewed to, to get paid out to me in March. And so on February the 4th, Amazon reached out to me and they said, hello, during a review, we found that you submitted titles with book details that do not comply with our guidelines and may cause a misleading customer experience. Book details can include keywords, B-I-S-A-C codes, and other browse categories. We removed the inaccurate details that did not match the nature of the content uh, from the title listed below, and they listed the name of the book. So basically what they're saying is that the contents of this book does not match the category that you put this book in. They then went on to say, oh, and it also tells me what category it was in. So it says that it was in spiritual healing, general, um, and then it also says it was in self-help, personal transformations. So those were the categories that I originally had this journal listed under. So it says, your book re will remain available for sale on Amazon, but we need you to do the following. Review the rest of your catalog to ensure that it meets guidelines, which can be found here, and correct the details, including keywords, B-I-S-A-C, and categories of any content that does not meet our content guidelines within 10 business days. As a reminder, finding additional violations of our guidelines may negatively impact your account status. If you have questions or believe you have received this email in error, reply to this message. Thanks for your cooperation. Y'all, I started panicking. As soon as, let me try to get back on the, let me try to pull my camera back up. As soon as that email dropped in my inbox and I read it, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm so dramatic. But I was panicking. And then I sat down and I said, you know what? God did not bring me this far to take me 10 steps back. That is not the God that I serve. And that is not the God that my parents serve. That is not the God my grandma served. We didn't come this far, you guys. And remember, at this time, I was seeing over $60,000 in my account, the most money I've ever seen in my life, in an account. And I was like, no, no. So you know what I started doing? First, the first thing I did was pray and, and thank God for the blessings he has already done in my life and assure him that I have faith in what he can do. And I know that he will do it. So that's the very first thing I did. The second thing I did was I went ahead and I fixed those details. And even this journal where they said, hey, we already fixed this one. We already removed the inaccurate details. I still went ahead and I edited this book. I, I had some grammatical errors in there. So I fixed those. I changed the description. Um, and then I, I removed it, the category, even though they said they had removed it. When I went in, I actually still saw it listed there. And I went ahead and removed it and I just put it under diaries and journals. Um, and I just did this for what I thought was all of my books. I thought I had fixed all of my books. The next thing I did was I started collecting my, my, my details, you guys, because I know that I did a lot of work to get this journal to where it got. And I was like, I'm not going to let all of my hard work go to waste because this was not me sitting down relying on Amazon. I put in a lot of work, marketing on social media, sending my link to people, having my friends were posting on Facebook for me and supporting me. And I was like, y'all, I did a lot of work. So I started collecting my, my details. I started making screenshots of reviews. I started making screenshots of people on YouTube who said I purchased it 
people on TikTok who said I purchased it. Y'all, I collected over 60 screenshots and I saved them in an email. Because I'm like, if it comes to it, I want to be ready. You know, I want to be ready. Faith without works is dead. I want to be ready. When it comes to it, I want to be ready. Because I put in a lot into this and I was going to get something out of it. And then I just left it to God and I moved on. Coming close to March when I was supposed to cash out, I'm like, okay, we getting there. So I'm like, I'm not going to publish anything. I'm and, and since they messaged me about the errors in this book, I did not publish any journals. Stand still, you guys. I stood still. I didn't publish any journals on Amazon. Y'all, I didn't even market the book anymore. I didn't even market the book anymore. I literally stopped everything that I was doing. I just stood still. I stood still, you guys. And so after that had happened, the month had ended, March had ended and I had gotten the money in my account. I gotten the money in my account. Um, and so when that happened, I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and publish some more books. So I published a journal and y'all, the journal was in review for five days. Now, typically Amazon is going to review your journal for about two to three days, I want to say, but the journal was in review for five days. After five days, I knew something was up. I was like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. something is up something is up so I'm gonna put my face back down again because y'all don't want to be seeing my face anyways okay so on what was this this was sometime in April so sometime in April um, and probably April 1st or April 2nd or so so Amazon reached out to me they said hello we have temporarily suspended your KDP account because you have once again submitted titles with book details that do not comply with our guidelines and may cause a misleading customer experience. Book details can include keywords, BISAC codes, and other browse categories. We removed inaccurate details that did not match the nature of the content from the titles listed below. Weekly time blocking planner, weekly time blocking schedule planner, leopard planner, da 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 da, da. They didn't tell me which categories this book was in. And I know that, because I, I, believe, I believe I had checked everything. And so I think this book was in time management or something like that, which in, it's a weekly time blocking planner. So in my mind, it fits into time management, but I guess according to Amazon, it does not fit into time management. So they said, in order to reinstate your account, thank God for grace. You see, you see the grace. Did you see the grace? Did you see the grace and the goodness of God? In order to reinstate your account, we need you to do the following. Reply to this message with a following declaration. I will improve the quality of all future submissions and will correct the issues with the outstanding titles I have for sale on Amazon. And after reinstatement, review your catalog to ensure it meets the guidelines, which can be found here. And correct the details, including keywords, B-I-S-A-C, and categories of any content that does not meet our content quality guidelines within 10 business days. Until we receive a message, until we receive a response from you regarding this issue, your account will remain suspended. As a reminder, Finding additional violations of our guidelines may negatively impact your account status and could result in the suspension or closure of your KDP account by Amazon. If you have any questions or believe you received this email in error, reply to this message regards Amazon KDP. Y'all, whoo! At this time, you know what I did at, when I got that email? Because I had already checked out. My money was in my bank account by this point. By this point, my money was in my bank account. So you know what I did? I stood still. When did I reply to them? April 3rd. I took two, two days. Two days. And I just, I stood still, you guys. Two days. I stood still. And I was like, I'm not going to rush and fight. If this is for me, it will be for me. So I took two days and I relaxed because my money was in my account. I worked hard. I was I was praying and fasting the whole 60 days. I was like, Lord, this is the time for me to rest. 
that is very it's very important that we rest when things are when things seem like they're just going crazy in your life it's really important that you rest so I rested and then I responded to them um, of course let me see if I can scroll up of course I responded to them saying I will improve the quality of all future submissions and will correct the issues with the attending titles I have for sale on Amazon thank you sent that to them and then the last email that they sent me was this one which said thank you for your email correcting thank you for your email concerning the status of your account after reviewing the response we have reinstated your account and you may submit titles for possible publication to ensure your account remains in good standing take the following actions review your catalog and unpublish any titles that do not comply with the content guidelines review your catalog and unpublish any titles where you do not have the necessary publishing rights Ensure that future titles comply with our content guidelines and that you hold the necessary publishing rights. So first and foremost, guys, I want to say I don't even understand the, the full nature of this email. Because the first email, they were telling me that they temporarily suspended my account because of keywords. But in this email, it seems like they're focusing on publishing rights, not having the rights to publish certain things. So I was kind of confused. So what I did after sending them that email was I went ahead and I unpublished a lot of books, y'all. A lot of the books that I had designed earlier on Canva. I, I, I unpublished a lot of those, like some of the ones that I was like, you know what, I haven't sold any of these and it's just not worth it. Um, some of them I made some edits, some of the others I haven't edited, edited them as yet, but I do have it on my list that I need to go ahead and change some of the cover images to make it just more simple covers like text. Because usually you won't find copyright issues with fonts, although fonts can be copyrighted or trademarked, um, you typically won't. Um, find copyright or any type of infringement issues with certain fonts but you will find them with certain graphic images and you know whenever your account is starting to do good or whenever you're getting more visibility you have to be conscious of those things so I went ahead and I unpublished a lot of those books that I had published earlier um, that's kind of where I am right now with my with my Amazon KDB account. My account is back. It is reinstated. During the process of suspension, I couldn't access anything in my KDP portal, but my books did not stop selling on Amazon. They still kept them selling, even though they had suspended my account for those couple of days. And right now, as I said, I'm trying to remove a lot of those um, books that have images that I feel like make potentially run into issues later on because as you all know canva has just released some more clarity around their guidelines before it seemed as though you, you know if you made substantial edits or if you made a unique thing um you would be fine but now it seems a little bit more confusing and so i want to just stick to probably books with just text on there or try to draw some of my own images you know i mean I, i'm pretty sure i can do it i got two hands <laughs> god is good um so perhaps I may try drawing some of my own images or perhaps I may try just sticking with text. I'm not really sure yet, but based on what they're saying in this email about making sure you have publishing rights and things like that, I'm thinking that there's probably something cooking in the background. And because God has given me this foresight, I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead of it because, you know, as I said, this video is to encourage you and not to discourage you. Like you're always going to have trials on your journey, but you have to be steadfast in your efforts as well as you have to see where there is room for you to pivot so that you can continue to grow. And that's really what I want. And that's why I'm publishing this video for you all. So if you believe that you have keywords that may cause an issue, go ahead and change those keywords. What I've been doing is just sticking to diaries and journals because I literally have no idea what keywords are going to be acceptable, especially because they're blank journals. So I'm just sticking to diaries and journals right now. So I just want to make this for you all so that you can have that foresight and you are able to, to, to kind of get ahead of these things. Um, I hope there's no issue with me showing these emails. I don't know. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for sharing my testimony with you guys. <laughs> but um, I'm going to share it anyways because I think it's important because I did not know this information. Um, but you know, it's like they say, ignorance of the law is no excuse, right? So ignorance of Amazon's rules, um, it's no excuse. Um, even though sometimes things seem complicated the way they're written and you feel like you can't understand them, 
Um, it's not enough to be ignorant of, of what their requirements are. And if you want to sell on their platform, I believe it's really important to follow their rules and regulations. That's how they keep things working for them. And so if you want to sell on their platform, you have to abide by their rules and their guidelines. And so I'm taking full responsibility for my actions here and I'm taking the steps to correct them. And I thank God for grace. And I thank whoever was reviewing my account on Amazon for their grace, because y'all, and this could have been different, right? This could have been totally different. Um, I did have my my book when it was doing well on Amazon in a category that they felt was inaccurate. And so this could have gone so many different ways, but it's just the grace of God that just keeps us going. Um, and so I'm just so happy and blessed to still be here and share this testimony with you all. Um, I hope it inspires you. I hope you go ahead and make changes if you have changes that need to be made. And y'all, if you have any other ideas about guidelines that you think I may not be following or guidelines that you think other people may not be following, go ahead and drop it in the comments so that we can help each other out and support each other. I know I was talking a little fast in this video, um, but it's just, you know, when you're sharing something that could have been so painful for you, not saying money is everything or anything like that, but y'all, when you're, when you've, when you've come from so far, right. And you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of not only being able to help you, but being able to help your family, it, it matters a lot to you. You know what I mean? It matters a lot to you. Um, and so as I've shared with you guys, I'm not from a rich family. I grew up with holes in the floor, right? So so if if, if this was just to happen, for, for all of that to just go to, I don't even know, go to waste because of something that I didn't know, it would have been hard. It would have been hard. It would have been hard. I mean, God would have kept me through it and God would have kept me going, but it would have been hard. Um, and so... That's why I'm making this video so you guys don't have to go through that because I know one day you will see yours. If you keep putting in the work, one day you're going to wake up and your mind is going to be blown. And I want to make sure that you're ready, you're able, and your account is in good standing. And so that's why I'm making this video. And that's it, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm really trying to be more consistent here on YouTube with you. I keep saying that and I believe it's going to happen. So go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with someone who may be already publishing on Amazon KDP or thinking about it. Um, and the next thing I probably need to do is get a better camera, right? <laughs> I made all this money and I didn't invest in a camera. That's because I'm investing in other things, you guys. Um, and I hope to share some more about all of those details with you later on. So go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.